the entertainment industry's standards for a strong woman are as follows. She has to have the upper body strength of a huge man, the skills of an ultimate fighting champion, while maintaining Hollywood's traditional slim build. I'm sick and tired of seeing female characters in TV shows and movies, many who don't have superpowers, or even a weapon on them, who look like they weigh 115 pounds soaking wet, kicking the ass of every man around them. Galadriel is depicted as an indestructible and limitless badass. So I guess the message we are trying to send little girls is a strong woman can take on someone ten times her size all by herself. In Peter Jackson's Fellowship of the Ring, it took an entire fellowship to defeat a troll. Which taught kids the value of teamwork, that there are safety in numbers, and that it's important to have friends who will have your back. But no, not Galadriel. The Rings of Power writers want to depict a strong woman. So she kicks the ass of five men in five seconds and gets them locked in the cage. She can defeat a troll even bigger than the one in Jackson's films all by herself. What is the message here? That a woman can't be empowered unless she has a man's upper body strength? Characters like Galadriel and these indestructible women impact society's perception of women. This will lead to more victim blaming. Why didn't you leave your abusive husband? Why didn't you quit your toxic work environment and fight your toxic boss and the entire HR department that supported him? Why didn't you fight off the entire group of rapists? And if you think it's just a movie, it's just a TV show. It doesn't have any impact on society. I encourage you to watch John Oliver's report on Law & Order Special Victims Unit. What we watch greatly impacts our reality. And if you think that people are so much smarter than this, and if movie after movie after movie is depicting a strong woman with the upper body strength of a man, if you think that that's not affecting people's perception of reality, you have more faith in humanity than I do. I agree with the red letter media guy when he says, Most people are dumb and don't like to be challenged intellectually or emotionally, just like how most newspapers are written on the fourth grade reading level. You see, the average human IQ is 100. The female characters in Jackson's films are strong and brave. Eowyn and Arwen both defy society's expectations of who they should be with, where they should be, and what they should be doing. You don't have to put a sword in her hands to make her strong. This is an incredibly powerful and fearless woman. Filled with so much hope and belief, and that is strong enough. You don't have to put a sword in her hand to make her a empowered female character. Isn't that interesting? Just because Mary, ooh, a character with a penis has to help a woman out. <gasps> it does not take away from the empower moment. This is the best and most badass female empowered scene in any movie. I am no man. I've watched Jackson's films so many times. I never tire of these female characters. But after three hours with the fearless, indestructible, entitled brat of the main protagonist in Rings of Power, I'm bored out of my mind and I can't stand to watch another episode with this character.